I've recently been upgrading some of my uh, network stuff, and I came across this. This is an old uh, Netgear WNR2000. Oh, upside down. <laughs> Good start. And this is a uh, version 2. They did do a couple of versions of these. Wireless N300 router. Wow. So this is a uh, 2.4 gig only router. And... Um, yeah, what I'm going to do today is take a look inside. So, uh, let's get into this. Right. Yeah, they just kind of snap outwards. Right, so there we go. That's all you get in this router. So, I'm not just going to leave the video at that. I'm going to show you this in a little bit closer detail. There's really not much to it, is there? So, there's one side of the board. Um, and of course, you've got all your kind of little roots down to the LEDs there. And there's the um, other side of the board. But I have looked up a little bit of information about what's on this board, just to make the video vaguely more interesting. I'm not an expert at electronics. I don't really know what I'm talking about at all, but I do find this sort of stuff interesting. So I welcome any knowledge from anybody correcting anything that I'm saying, because I'm really just talking about stuff that I've read. I don't, you know, I don't, it's not my area of expertise at all. So let's zoom in. I can give you fairly good visuals though. So let's zoom in with, uh, with the camera here. See how, how close can I get? Pretty close. So there on the board, well, funnily enough, we'll start with um, the link com. These here, these two things. These are the actual things that do the Ethernet. They're the um, base 10, 100, because this isn't a one gigabit uh, Ethernet on this. They're the uh, base 10 and 100 sort of transmitters, and that is what does uh, the transmission side of things. Uh, the broad, the, the one above that there, this, this little chip here, the Broadcom BCM5325 EKQMG, that is is a 10100 six port switch. So there are only five ports on here. I don't know whether this port counts, this one counts towards that or not, but it is a six port switch, apparently, with a 64K buffer and a 25 megahertz crystal. I thought that, is that crystal? It looks like a crystal to me, but uh, again, I'm guessing. So. Yeah, so that in itself, that's the switch bit of your router. Okay, so moving just a little bit further over here, you'll notice there's another one here. This is a Delta LFE 8290, and that's a uh, discrete LAN filter. So magnetics are, are basically required by any router, whether they be discrete or not, um, or sort of uh, integrated. They're needed to conform with uh, the Ethernet spec. And uh, the way different companies do it, well, it depends on kind of cost and all that sort of stuff. You need some sort of isolation between this and the cabling. And that's the job of this. It's an Ethernet LAN filter. Uh, doing it this way, so putting an actual chip on the, uh, putting a chip on the board here is, uh, is cheaper and it's better with better for uh, ESD protection as well, apparently. Uh, but um, yeah, it's interesting because they do vary the way they do it. Some of them will do an integrated one where they actually build all the filtering into the this bit, so the, where the actual uh, cables connect. That is uh, apparently a bit more tricky, though, because if one thing breaks, so if they're testing it, if they finish the, producing it and they test one of these, they then have to replace all of these and you you have to replace all the filters as well. So even though one of the filters you know might be absolutely fine, or or three of them might be fine, you're replacing all of them. So that is generally seen as a more expensive way of doing it. So yeah, interesting. So that's what that's what the job of uh, of that is. It just sort of filters out crosstalk and all that type of thing. Okay, uh, moving on. So there we go. I mean, that's pretty much all there is on that side of the board, as far as anything interesting goes. You just got those chips, and uh, if I just zoom out again, so, so, you, so you can see the board as a whole. Yeah, that's all, all there is, really. 
We've got, yeah, Ethernet transmitters, LAN filters, and the switch. On the other side of the board, it's even more basic. And you can see there that we have a Broadcom um, a BCM4716. And that is an SOC, basically. It's a system on a chip. And that is the router. It's a. It's got the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi in there. It's got three antenna support in there. It's a 300 megahertz CPU. That is this thing. That's the router. That's what does everything. It's amazing, isn't it? And uh, <laughs> I just find it absolutely fascinating that despite you've got all this stuff on here, really all you're buying when you pay for one of these is a fancy case and uh, and this little system on a chip. Incredible stuff, all from Broadcom, of course. So um, customized purely by Netgear by their uh, by their software, and uh, and presumably Broadcom chips like this are, are made and sold in the same way across multiple routers. And then above there, we have this, and I'm sure many of you knew, will know what that is. That is just some DDR memory. It's about two five six meg apparently of DDR memory. Uh, the K4H five six one. 638N. Uh, and that's about it. That's all we have in a Netgear router. I'm not sure what exactly what's under there, but I assume it's RF shielded in some way. Antenna-wise, it says that it supports three antennas, the, um, the spec of the uh, router, the onboard router. But by the look of things, this one only has two, because I think these are the antennas here at the top. I don't think there are any more. I could be wrong. If anyone can see where the other one is, tell me. But I can't see anymore. And there we go. Hope you found that interesting. I've given you a little bit more information. What's this bit for here? Also, why the heck do they have all these endless holes in the board? Is that just because they're fixed boards used for various things and they just sort of populate them as they need or something like that? Is, it, is that the answer? I don't know why they have all these. It's just littered with holes, isn't it? Or well, they're not actual holes, but they're they're kind of sites where things could be, I suppose. And what's this here? This little sort of sectioned off area. Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me that? Anyway, there we are. A look inside a WNR. Netgear WNR two thousand router. If anyone's got any use for this and uh, you'd like this, and you're in the UK, let me know in the uh, comments or send me a message or something. Um, you're welcome to it, because um, otherwise I think I'm going to uh, dispose of this. So, um, yeah. Quick look inside before I get rid of it. Thanks very much. See you later.